சர்வ சௌபாகியதாயினி சர்வ சௌபாகியதாயினி சர்வ சௌபாகியதாயினி சர்வார்த்த சாதக சக்கர சுவாமினி சர்வார்த்த சாதக சக்கர சுவாமினி சர்வார்த்த சாதக சக்கர சுவாமினி குலோத்தீர்ண யோகினி குலோத்தீர்ண யோகினி and this incidentally corresponds to the kundalini yoga and the next one sixth avarna is called antar dashara again 10 triangles are there represented by 10 deities and they are sarvajne 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 sarva saubhagya dagini this has come many number of time saubhagya aishwarya what is the saubhagya they are referring here antakkarana saubhagyam because sau is the parabijam sau you are taking that toxic element toxic energy from your body and leaving but also sau has got a different meaning giving saubhagyam the greatest bhagyam is giving not getting so what are the saubhagyas referred here in the sarva saubhagya a compassionate heart that is a saubhagya how many people will have a compassionate heart a compassionate heart even to that person who has done harm to you that is where it is very difficult we can love the person if they are nice to us but they have cheated us they have hurt us still we should be compassionate helping hands helping is a saubhagya in olden days irrespective of the caste creed religion people used to wait till noon for a person to come to their house unknown person and have food until then they won't eat atidhi the person who doesn't follow the tidhi atidhi they come without information they wait giving is so bhagya helping hand not only to the human being that is why whenever you have a financial stress or the business is going down people will come to me and ask what is the remedy you feed the birds in the morning you put some grains or some idli or dosa they'll eat enjoy that great saubhagya you feed a human being one human being at least in the afternoon it's very simple all you have to do is cook some extra rice mix it in sambar hot hot sambar sadam i just pack it and go out and many people are starving for food hot food you are giving they'll bless you that is the blessing from mother saubhagya in the evening time you feed an animal a dog a cat a cow any animal with respect not throwing rotten bread which i told before this itself is saubhagya not only this unifying thoughts if somebody is behaving in a way which is not suitable to you instead of finding that person's behavior as abnormal sarva saubhagya says if i were in his or her position with that karmic effect i would have behaved in the same way so by this thought unifying thought what is the saubhagya you get do you know anybody can tell peace <laughs> which we are searching for long time all you have to do is put yourself in the other shoes if i were him or her i would have behaved in the same way there is no abnormality soothing speech put fullest effort possible to see that 
your speech gives happiness to the people. You know, when we recite the slokas to God in puja room, we don't recite like Shuklam Bharadaram Vishnum Jajivarnam. No. It is Shuklam Bharadaram Vishnum soothing speech to please the God. But why then we are not following the same principle with the people around us? Outside the puja room and still say Antar Bahit Chatat Sarvam Yapyanaragana Stitaha. Same soothing speech should be there. That is the Saubhagya. And at last, nowadays in the modern life, you know what is the Saubhagya we need? Peaceful sleep. Indrumattum Tunga Vaital Vananguven Thaye. Amma, I prostrate to you. If you make me sleep at least this night, Kannadasan wrote in Tamil, sometime the sleep is also Saubhagya. We forgot all these inner Saubhagyas and searching for the outer Saubhagyas only. That is the problem. When we talk about Saubhagya, peace, auspiciousness, the human weakness is we always think about us and our family. If you expand the word Saubhagya in a broader sense, Sashya Shyamala, getting rains at the proper time is Saubhagya. Free from natural calamities, occasionally they may come, but not regular. That is Saubhagya. Stable politics, peaceful country, violence-free society, these are all Saubhagya. Why we are not able to enjoy the complete Saubhagya in the country is, very few people pray for the Saubhagya of the country. So let us all start during this Ganesh Navratri a new life, a new kind of prayer where every day we think about the Saubhagya of the country. Not only country, Hinduism so great, we say Loka Samastha Sukino Bhavantu, Sarve Jana Sukino Bhavantu, Sakala San Mangalan Santu, Nitya Sri Rastu, Nitya Mangalani Bhavantu. We never pinpointed, I want only this auspiciousness. There is no limitation. So, Saubhagya is a broader term. Sarvartha Sadaka Chakra Swamini. Like, Every chakra, this chakra also has got a deity ruling this chakra. And that deity name is Sarvartha Sadaka Chakra Swamini. Previously also we talked about uh, Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. At that time, we said, there is not a single person who has got all this Chaturvida Purusharthas in a mundane life. We can have Dharma, Artha, Kama. But Moksha is such a thing that you need to be ready to receive that. So all the hurdles are removed. Sarva Vigna Nivarini, Sarva Vidravini. Mother has selected you. When you recited Khadgamala, you are being selected by the mother for proper working on you, for proper transformation. And here, she makes you ready. And what is worked upon is not the Bahya Saundarya, it is Atma Saundarya, which is not connected to the external world. Beyond that, there is a second layer, which is five natural elements, all pervading. Here, your awareness 
is not dwelling in the individuals, is not dwelling in the time frame. It is at a higher level permanency, all pervading air, ever flowing water, fire, vast ether. So, the actual internal expansion happens and that's when the Atma Saundarya is exhibited and you are ready for the takeoff. And when it happens, it happens at the fifth chakra. See how difficult is sadhana. And now, the preparation is over. You are ready for the ultimate experience. Kula Uttirna Yogini Kula Uttirna Yogini This Uttirna word has come from Tarani. That means crossing over. Kula Uttirna Yogini Kula means Muladhara. That is the base. The first chakra in our body it's logically existing, physically non-existing. A is, you know, energy center. You are crossing that. That means you are crossing the doubt, fear, all these impurities. You are slowly coming out of. Kula Uttirna Yogini. That deity which makes it possible. And this is called Kundalini. And Kundalini is a hidden serpent power. 